Hello and welcome back to Simply Greg's EV. You join us here at a charging site right by my house with the VinFast VF8 and we're going to do a 10 to 80% charging test on it. We're going to get the VinFast plugged in to the ABB Terra 184. 300 amp nominal will go up to 400 amp boost. Peak rate on this is 150 kilowatts, roughly 90 kilowatt hour battery. VinFast says 10 to 80% on this car is going to be roughly about 35 minutes. Let's get plugged in and see if that's any true. So we got the VinFast VF8, pretty controversial uh, EV. As I said, peak rate 150 kilowatts, roughly about 90 kilowatt hour um, nominal battery on it. So far so good. It's been in the family for about a year. No real issues with it. A couple quality of con control problems, but nothing crazy. So we're sitting here at exactly 10% state of charge. As you see here, 10% state of charge. I even got my fizzy water to drink while we're doing this. Battery is at uh, 29 Celsius. So really, really optimal conditions to be testing. It's 25, 26 Celsius outside. So let's get this plugged in and let's get this charging test started. Good old Terra 184. We know how we like this. So here, welcome to Circle K Kushchard Recharge. So we'll click finish here. We'll connect the cable. We'll try to do this while uh, while filming as well. Use your phone to authenticate at this charger. We will, we are here. So, so we're all plugged in now. We're at the number two Terra 184. We're going to activate the charge with the swipe. We'll do that. And as we're doing that, let me run to the timer quickly. Let me run to, to the stopwatch. And as soon as the contactors click, we're going to hit start there we go so we are charging up here now let's see how long the handshake takes to go through um as i said vinfast been uh, pretty interesting this whole time i had to stop filming there for a second i'm sorry because i got a text and i had to plug in and all of that stuff so preparing to charge setting up with the car there we go 10 percent state of charge i don't know if you can see that on there and it's going to start ramping up very nicely uh, this is not really, I don't have my uh, dongle in the car or anything like that. This is really, really last minute EV charging. I actually had the VinFast today from my brother and sister-in-law to install the uh, tire. So I figured why not do this, film something interesting. We're already at 80 kilowatts, 102 kilowatts. And we're going to keep ramping up from there, 121 kilowatts. We've done um, some pretty serious road tripping with this and it was, not bad it's not a terrible vehicle it's not that bad so we're just sitting here 134 kilowatts as we continue to uh, ramp up and it should be ramping up nicely over here 135 just back inside the car now 13 percent state of charge incoming from the uh, connector is uh sorry from the plug is 136 kilowatts we're receiving 134 kilowatts. So I've always kind of liked this, how it shows you the, the what's what's going actually into the uh, battery. Um, not a lot of EVs do this, but I think it's, uh, this is actually a nice interface here with the information here. I wish it would display amps, but you could get to a service menu setting in here. And I don't want to bother. And the uh, battery temperature as we continue to uh, ramp up here, as I said, about end of the world for it's about 145 150 somewhere somewhere in there but uh, so far so good we're holding steady at 136 kilowatts just hit five minutes in the test we're at 23 percent state of charge pulling 138 kilowatts we've done 11.1 kilowatt hours of energy has gone in 11.5 kilowatt hours of energy has gone in in five minutes and 25 seconds so 10 10 to 25 percent roughly on this is going to be about six minutes but everything so far so good with the vinfast a um, couple of issues regarding uh, software and some suspension clunking but otherwise not too bad it's actually not that bad for what this costs about a, um, for what this costs a month about five hundred dollars there's nothing in this price range here in canada when uh, when this was new so we'll continue charging up here but so far so good everything is going well roughly 10 minutes into the test we're at 33 percent state of charge it's just tapered down hard to about 100 kilowatts 
up from, uh, to, sorry, down from 137. Battery temperatures at 36 Celsius. That's actually not the hottest I've ever seen it on a VinFast. I've already seen these things already smoking hot. Uh, 99 kilowatts at the handle, 96 kilowatts going in. We're at 20.3 kilowatt hours of energy. We've been here 10 minutes already and we're holding on the uh, this dispenser. It's saying at 100 kilowatts, 34% state of charge. We're just coming up now to 15 minutes of charging time. Let's see. 15 minutes and six seconds, 43% state of charge, 91 kilowatt hours. We've done nearly 30 kilowatt hours of um, energy. We've been here. We've been here roughly 15 minutes already, according to uh, my phone. 15 minutes, 49 seconds actually. 44% uh, state of charge, 92 kilowatts going in, receiving 88. Battery temp is at 37 Celsius, so not too too bad. Let's go check what the good old Terra 184 is doing. I think it's finished its 400 amp boost. Uh, nearly 30 kilowatt hours of energy. We're pulling 92 kilowatts, 15 minutes, 55 seconds, 45% state of charge. And the vehicle, the VinFast, it's saying that we should be at 80% in 20 minutes. So I think we'll be roughly to what their specifications say. I was just looking at the official specifications on a VinFast's website. For the VF8 Eco, it lists 10 to 70% state of charge in 31 minutes. That's the official. So they actually don't list a 10 to 80% time. Uh, this could be actually very, very interesting because there's a few uh, ideas out there of what the 10 to 80% time is. Someone said around 45 minutes. Another person said um, 40 minutes. But the VinFast official is, uh, they advertise a 10 to 70% time, and that's 31 minutes. And here we are, we're at uh, 19 minutes, 19 seconds in, 50% state of charge, and we're pulling 88 kilowatts. So I think we'll hit the proper time on the 10 to 70%, but it will be interesting to see what the 10 to 80% is. We are at 25 minutes, 21 seconds. 59, 60% state of charge, battery temp, 39 Celsius. We're at 81 kilowatts at the handle, 79 going in. It says 13 minutes remaining to 70% state of charge. And over here, we've done 43.52 kilowatt hours of energy, 82 kilowatts. We've been here nearly 26 minutes already. So I think we'll get close to what the advertised spec is on here of uh, 10 to 70 percent in uh, 31 minutes or 32 minutes um, but that final 10 percent is going to take a lot longer on the event fast is the cable C cables cool handles cool and also it could be a limitation of the charging equipment uh, as i said 300 amp nominal it will do a 400 amp boost um, i can't get any information because i don't have my dongle and because also, this doesn't uh, list any information like some other um, charging sites do where you could pull up how, how much amps are going in. But um, yeah, not too bad. 13 minutes, so we got 20% state of charge to uh, go. We will check in here shortly. Just coming up now to half an hour, uh, saying 10 minutes of remaining time, 65% state of charge. Oh, it was so close with the advertised 31 minutes, but I'm afraid we're not going to hit it. We're not going to hit it for uh, reasons. Let's get out and see what's going on. Uh, 83 kilowatts at the handle, 80 going in. Battery temp is coming up at 40 Celsius. But I would say this test would definitely be a success. We're at uh, 29 minutes, 35 seconds, 65% state of charge, um, 86 kilowatt hours, and nearly 50 kilowatt hours of energy has gone into the pack, so not not that bad not that bad this was a i'm going to deem this test a um success actually because we it was it's going to be close it's going to be close um yeah so definitely not uh, equipment related as i thought earlier in the other clip but uh yeah solid so far um i wouldn't say it's the best road tripper uh, i wouldn't charge this up to 80 percent on on a road trip i'd be out of there at 60 uh, percent, 65 percent as we showed in some of our videos when, when we did road trip this. But uh, yeah, not that bad, holding up good. Paint quality is all right on it. I wouldn't say it's anything crazy, but just a good daily driver, a good average EV. This is, this, this is what it is, it's average and it's not that bad. 
don't let the reviews fool you it's not that bad 31 minutes in we're at 67 percent state of charge and as i keep mentioning vinfast said 10 to 70 percent was 31 minutes so i'm going to say that's an accurate number um various things could affect it uh, maybe it's putting out just a bit less uh, power maybe the ambient temperature plays a role, but I'm gonna say that's pretty close to what the uh, specification would VinFast li list. So I'm gonna say that as term in terms of that, that's a success. Um, that's very close to what the advertised uh, time is. And I think it's too small of a gap to really find fault in because so many things affect it. So we'll continue charging up here to uh, 80%. Just hit 70% state of charge, seven minutes remaining, battery temp 40 Celsius, 79 kilowatts. The charging curve has been it it dropped down, but it's been fairly it's been fairly flat actually. It's not too too bad of a charging curve. I'd like to see it better one day, but for what this is, it's not too horrible. There's a lot worse charging EVs out there. Uh, everything is good in here, seven minutes remaining to 80%. 79% state of charge, it's saying one minute remaining, 66 kilowatts, 64 going into the pack. We've been here, according to my phone, nearly 41 minutes already. I've been hiding out in the uh, car while we're doing this. 79% state of charge, 63 kilowatt hours of energy, 66 ki kilowatts going into the, uh, sorry, at the handle now. It's been a long day. I haven't had dinner yet. My mind's on here. There we are. 80% state of charge. Let's click stop. 40 minutes, 55 seconds, and it's still counting. There we go. 40 minutes, 59 seconds exactly. Charging is stopped. We'll click OK. There's our rundown. Maximum output was 100 and 141 kilowatts, let's just say. 80% state of charge. Charge time, 40 minutes, 59 seconds. Total energy delivered. 63.246 kilowatt hours, so not bad. I would say definitely, definitely, definitely the numbers were accurate from VinFast on that 10 to 80%. Um, that last 10% was brutal up to 80. Um, well, let's just, we'll go back inside, we'll get unplugged and I'll give some uh, final thoughts on uh, this charge test. We'll put this back into here. We'll get this closed up and we will get out of here and give some final thoughts. That test went as about as good as I, as, as I thought it was going to go. Uh, that was not a cheap charge, that cost $31. Uh, charging has definitely gone up here in Montreal. It was uh, 49 cents a kilowatt hour actually, but um, I wouldn't say I'm, I'm impressed with the VinFast charging. Um, as I said, if I were road tripping this like we have before, I'd be out of there at probably the 15 minute mark or a 20 minute mark to be honest with you on that one i wouldn't sit here for 40 minutes going up to the full 80 percent um but yeah the actual charge time on this was i would say as i mentioned before i would believe vinfast numbers 100 percent. i did have the ac going on for a bit at first and I, as i was taking a phone call um but yeah the uh, 10 to 70 percent in 31 minutes is definitely believable i think we did it what in 32 or 33 as i said the gap is so small it's uh it's completely pointless at uh, at that point unless you really want to start getting into our uh, numbers but we don't we don't drive our vehicles uh the same every single time there's always differences there's many variables involved but uh yeah vinfast vf8 eco pretty decent charging time uh, just don't charge it to 80% on a road trip unless you really really have to and I think that's going to be it thank you for watching do all the usual things like click subscribe share all of that stuff and we'll see you in the next video